Hi everyone, I'm Devin Coombs, and today I'm going to be discussing question 10 in our managerial accounting lecture series. So this question is regarding budgeting. I am pulling it from our gateway lab exam practices, so you can use it for that, or you can use it just to brush up on your managerial accounting and budgeting. I think it's a great review. So let's read the question. Uh, the corporation has the following purchasing budget, and then it gives us the budget. Historically, the company pays one half at the time of purchase and the remainder in the month following. What are the expected cash disbursements in August? Right away, I keen in on the word August, and that's what you should do too. So we're just looking for August, so we can cut out October, November, December, um, July, August, September is kind of in our ballpark. Then I keen in on the fact that it's at the time of purchase and the remainder in the month following the purchase. So in August, we're going to be paying some of July because it's the month following the purchase. So these are the only two months I'm caring about. We're gonna defer some of this payment into September, but these are the two months. Everything else is just nonsense. It's gonna distract you. Uh, also, it's important to notice the formatting here is strange and can throw you off. Like originally, I read this question left to right and said July, October. Wait, that's not, that's not correct. Uh, so that will throw you off. Make sure everything makes sense. Professors generally like throwing information in strange formats to send you in the wrong direction. So don't get tricked, be smart. So let's do the math. So we know that one half is gonna be paid in the month of August and we're gonna pay for the month prior for the half that wasn't paid because it was probably on accounts payable. So in July, we had 100,000, we paid 50,000 of that. So we only have 50% left. So that's $50,000 left. In August, we're going to defer half of the payment to uh, the next month. So we're only going to pay 50% of this, which would be 40000 So I'm going to pay 50% of August because we're deferring it, and 50% of July because it was deferred and we're accruing it. So 50000 plus 40000 equals 90000 which will be our answer. You, as you can see, the math is relatively simple. It's more about paying attention to the detail and sorting through the clutter in these kind of questions. So I highly recommend rereading these questions, rereading uh, your answers, recalculating your answers. Uh, a lot of things I do when I'm doing th going through exams is I'll do an exam quickly, and then I'll do every calculation that I did during the exam over again, or I'll even do all the problems over again and see if I come to the same conclusion. Because a lot of times I might have misread something and I'll catch a silly little error, but that's what these questions will do to you. So as we can see here, the answer is 90,000. Uh, I hope I went through these steps clearly enough for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to write in the comments below and I will do my best to help you out as best as I possibly can. So feel free to ask me anything. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching my video.